In this uh, video, we'll be giving a brief uh, description of Yardin and also talk about the classes uh, used in Yardin. So Yardin is an open source software. It's actually based on discrete element method. It solves these problems, numerical problems, discrete numerical problems. It's actually based on only two languages, C++ and Python. C++ is just written for the computation part and Python just write scripts and make scenes and control the simulation processing and debugging. Okay, the two components of Yard is data component and the functional component. Data component stores data of the simulation and it is saved in the scene, Omega scene, by giving the command o.bodies.append. O is an Omega scene. I have explained that in the last video of this series. And as far as functional part, functional component it just takes data from the data components and does physics and interaction based on that course okay it visits the data component that's why it's called a visit pattern and it's actually added to a scene by referring to as o dot engines as far as data component is considered it can be divided into three bodies interaction and forces so as far as bodies it actually refers to a simple single body not simple, single body, okay? And this body is after you are gonna give refer to a body, you may give it a shape, you may give it a material, you may give it a state at which position it is, okay? You may even give it a bond when two body interacted. So you may give a bond to a body and it just refers to single body only. Bodies, single body. As far as interaction, it, it happens when two bodies interact with each other. It is having two components, geometric configuration and non-geometric features. In geometric configuration, like when two body is about to get interacted, they may have shear strain to it, okay? Shear strain, penetration distance, what is the penetration distance that is referred in configuration, geometric configuration, it is referred as i geom in your name. And as far as non-geometric features, it's referred by i phys and it gives non-geometric features like, uh, which is dependent upon the materials of the body, like Young's modulus and uh, shear models like that okay mm. as far as forces uh, simple forces like what is the force section of the body that's it and after that uh, these things these the state these data components would be assessed or visited by the engine and different physics and interaction will be applied okay that thing we'll talk about in subsequent lectures and in detail video about each of these things we've done in different videos in this video we will be just giving a brief idea about body okay so you have a scene you are gonna give first of all create a body by referring to as b is going to body so when you are referring to as b as a body you have to give the components to it different components to it so let me talk about the first the body's component that shape state mat, uh, material and bound so First of all, you have a body, you refer to an object B as body, you have to give it a shape to it, you can give a different shape to it depending upon your problem, what type of shape is present in the simulation in your problem. And it's referred to as a sphere and it may have some attributes to its sphere. Radius is from this one, you can refer to it here. Slender has radius or length, potential particles, I have and just explained this potential particles in the series of mass free plotting, you can actually refer what different attributes uh, refer R, R, K, B, C, you can see that video to get an idea about this potential particle to make irregular shape bodies you can have a number of body potential block is there cuboidal is there there are a number of bodies you can refer to so let's uh, in this video we'll be just focusing on one thing like we're gonna go for sphere maybe okay you'll do the first sphere and sphere you can now after you just give the shape of the body b is sphere you can give it a radius b dot shape dot radius is going to this one if it's slender it will have radius also as length okay or you can actually give the radius just by the start of the rotating body just by referring to as b is equal to body you attribute sphere and shape is equal to sphere and whose radius would be equivalent to something and before sphere you have just mentioned it's just uh, shape okay shape is equal to sphere and you can do radius to it okay okay about this body you had to do these things manually you had to give uh, shape state material bound manually to a body but there is a utility function in 
Python or you can change it, that automatically assigns some default values to your body. Like uh, there's a function utils dot sphere, and you're going to mention the state at center and the radius of it, and material would be given automatically. Positioning uh, will send by position that will be center. Okay, Fix, whether it's fixed or not, that will also be given the default value. As for if you are, have to manually assign it, you have to give it one by one. Okay, okay, that is it. Okay, now there is two things in order to code the simulation in Yari, there's two ways of doing it. It can open the Yari, just write the commands, run one by one. If there's error, you just correct it, or you can just write a code in a script, Python script, save it as and run it as in Yari. Okay. That is, I will be, I will advise you to just do the second way. That is, create a script first because it's more flexible. You can change it if there is error. You can cut it out. It's more flexible. So I'll be doing that way. So as far as uh, text editor is considered to write Python, you can do any text editor. You can use any text editor you want. So let's create a file. Okay. Uh, let's create uh, untitled. First of all, let's create a utility. The automatic assignment is Done. So let's create body B1. Remember, B1 is a body one, and how you are going to give it shape of sphere, but utils dot sphere, and you will give it center as in zero comma center zero comma zero. And before doing that, it's not equal because it's plain text. You will convert it into Python first. You just check the Python so that this file is not Python one. You can save it first of all. You can save it in let's save it here let's name it try one and save it okay now we can give it a radius this is here automatic assignment um, radius is going to say one okay this is the first thing and then now the second thing is like if you need to know different attributes to do we're going to be one dot materials and you have to print it out you can try to print b1 dot mat like that now the second way of just creating body is just using body object so in body let's create body b2 body either you can give a shape here or you can do it in the next line one by one let's say b2 is dot shape is equal to sphere capital s okay now you can give b2 and the shape will have a radius to it dot radius is equal to let's give it two and then you can just write v2 dot state where it will be present it's center dot position you can give it like say let's say let's keep it at zero comma zero comma ten x y and z okay this one body second body state has position to it even state has mass to it so yeah we can do like that one also this b1 will automatically assign mass inertia to it and as far as this one b2 body is assigned by b2 you have to just manually assign now in order to print that you can just print like b2 dot mass let's say that like that could be zero because if we haven't assigned it if i refer to here b1 as mass let's do that okay before doing that let me just in order to add these things to the scene we just created the variables we haven't even added to scene added to scene not LD. how to add it we're going to create omega this capital o bodies then we're going to go append that is actually it will be added to the scene you're going to refer b1 for a second you're going to write the same thing control c control v you're going to write b2 okay let's not do like that one let's create a for loop for that let me create a matrix array having both bodies b1 comma b2 now write a for loop for i in m so first i will take value of b1 next iteration it will take value of b2 okay let's indent it let's put i in there so it will be running two times so first and first it will be a order body step and b1 and second it will be b2 so let me print everything here now i dot id comma i dot i dot and shape shape dot radius even i dot mass i dot 
not share anything else you want okay i don't mind material also can be referred to as let's save it up let's double check it okay we'll run it if there's error we will see it okay let's open a terminal cd into yt cd into list case control c control shift c cd control shift p ls anything else is there there is basic also cd basic okay we're here let's see file yeah try here so we get to run one right yard a try one you can even come to here and open the terminal at that place i'm going to show you wait a second yard a try one run this script okay let's see if there is any error so there is an error actually what if it has no attribute mass Mm, okay, yep, yep, it doesn't have a matter. It is state i dot state dot mass i dot state has the attribute of mass and inertia. Okay, we don't even want to do it here because it will be done here now. Don't write here. Save it up. Open the terminal. Control Z. Run it. Okay, let me show it another way. Open the file manager. Uh, it's by here create basic right click open in terminal just now run yeah read try one dot py read the command just run this script okay let's see if there is any error there is no error let's see okay first of all let me show in 3d there'll be two masses this is one mass this is another this one is is the one with body this is the utils one okay let me see the different things wait a second okay so first of all we just went for id so the id is zero for first b1 and its uh, shape is not given in here i dot shape i dot radius is one. Oh yeah no we are not referring to shape we're just writing to i dot shape of radius so radius is here one even the state then there is mass it has this much mass and its inertia is this much okay then this is the mat you can even see that inertia of inertia is like inertia like three one two three in x y and z direction as for a second body b2 that we just created i just told in b1 automatically assign mass even mat the material even the mass and this inertia everything has been assigned to it as for the second one body yeah, we, could, we didn't give anything to body, just shape and state. So, first of all, this ID is 1. First of all, 0 and same 1. Then this radius is 2. And there is state of, then mass. We didn't give it any mass. Vector, this also inertia, no inertia. Even material, this is material. You have to assign it manually. So, this is the way difference between using two things, okay? And utils have this spare on anything. One thing else, I do. okay, there's one more thing I want to do. You can actually create body D. Let's create body D. Body. Now let's create a shape. Initially give it a shape and give it shape of sphere capital S and give it a radius of, let's say, 5. Created D dot uh, state dot position. Let's put it at 10, comma, 10, comma, 10. Now just Append it to bodies o dot bodies dot append then add t to it and you can create about it so this uh, his side is two zero one two let me just open the this let's see it here now showing 3d now there's three bodies okay here's the third body five radius five radius again yep so one two three there's three bodies even we just add it like that this is a basic introductory part we're not going to go deep into it okay just get an idea how to just use do some coding in it we'll go deep in next videos uh, okay let me create okay let me show how i know what is the attribute of body so you will go to the site yard in go to wrapper class and wrapper class we just used body and it will have attributes we just uh, create an attribute of let me do here so where is body as an average shape so shape it's rough it's uh, 
here shows shape is here so which is a bit shape is called sphere and if you want to see the, what is the attributes we give to sphere radius why would you only radius to it how many attributes it has so this shape has color like this highlight of the fire these are the different attributes to it okay that is for shape and and for then we refer to sphere we will go for sphere now sphere would be here okay it's not clicking let me we using let me go like this it's a little laggy this putting system okay now it's good then sphere for sphere we have radius to it oh, radius is here we can give radius you can give wire anything else can give okay so i'll be just in next lectures videos we'll be doing these all the rapid classes coding for it one by one okay and let's in this video we do one more thing let's go for wall okay let me even go for this thing ending this video so in order to create a wall just create w as in variable and you're going to call it an object body this is in shape so you have to remember so double dot shape is equal to wall wall you can do like this it's saying uh, python okay yep yeah just write it as a function like this now it's a wall double dot shape we just write it here. Here's a wall instance. Now you got to give it an axis, like it will be perpendicular to which axis. So you're going to go w dot shape dot axis. You're going to refer to as like it's always referred 0 for x plus 2, 1 for y, and 2 for z. Let's refer to 0. So normal is in the direction of x axis. And now let's append this thing in scene o dot bodies dot append w okay we appended it f12 to open the graphical interface show 3d okay this is the area now we even have added this wall as your maybe zero 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 okay you can do like this this just get a brief idea just score anything in yard let's see if it's working okay Get your hands dirty, some coding. If you want to go for slender, you can go for slender as well. Okay, mm, let me do one last thing before ending this video. I want to add something at the last video of mesh grid plot. We were talking about potential uh, particle. The information about potential particle, I got it from the one of the reference paper. If you want to find that paper, you just search potential particle in here. Quick search, go for it. And you will get it here, potential particle. And this is the, all the information. These are the papers, different papers about potential particles and potential block. We actually coded for this thing. If you remember in a series of mesh grid plotting last video. If you want to go in detail, you can just read number of papers in here. We just coded it up. We didn't went for a potential with like same potential block. This one was more complex so we did this one we already coded for this one normalized one this is zero less than zero outside we did this one also so if you want to go in detail for potential particle you can go come to the rd side and search potential particle you can come here okay i think this is it for this video thank you for watching and stay tuned for next video